<laughs> and, and home prices. And, but right now, we're prices. good. Yeah. All right, time now is 817. Did you hear about this? Is Facebook playing another big brother? Some users are saying the social media site is really cross, crossing the line with their new Messenger app. Right. So joining us now is tech expert Anthony Mangaluzzo. Anthony, thanks for joining us. So many people are talking about this Messenger app. It used to be optional, but now it's going to be mandatory, I guess, if you download. You, ha you have to download it. So how does it all work, and why are people all worried about this? So basically, this new app is getting terrible reviews. It has a one out of five stars on the iPhone uh, app store and similar ratings with Android. What the Messenger app basically does is you have to give away all of your privacy. You allow Facebook to look at your call list, your contacts, your text messages. It can even use your uh, recording device and your camera device on your phone without even telling you. Okay, that's the thing that scared me the most. Take me through that. I'm holding my phone right now. Yep. And if I have this Messenger app, they can see what I see or even worse, spy on me with what I'm doing? Hey, most of your phones nowadays have two cameras, the front camera and the back camera. So re legally, you are giving them access to those cameras when you install this application. So and some it, creepy guy in the San Francisco Bay Area at some place in Facebook can be looking live at what I'm looking at? I was going to say, don't even worry about San Francisco. Facebook is global. Around the world, they can look at you. And, and, yeah. and Anthony, the big concern is that people are going to download it because they want, to, they want it on their phone so they can message friends on their phone and they're not even going to really realize that they're giving up their privacy for this. Most people just click yes when it comes in and the thing that's crazy to me is you already have text messaging. You could send pictures. Why do we need a Facebook messaging app when there's so many other ways to communicate? Well, we know what they're doing. These big social media sites, including Yahoo and Google, they want customer information because that's how they monetize things by selling your personal information to advertisers to target you as a buyer. Exactly. They're going to, and again, they're going to know who you call, what text messages you say, what products you're talking about. For instance, I text and say, hey, I want the new Nike Fit Band. Well, then guess what? Facebook is going to start popping up some Nike Fit Bands on my phone. Anthony, is this just only on your phone, though? It's not on your computer. Is that right? Well, the, the terms of service of Facebook are similar. So technically, if you have a recording device on your computer or any other devices that you're giving them access to, then absolutely. So the terms of service really govern our relationship with Facebook. So it sounds like we don't want this messenger uh, app at all. Chris and I were just talking about it. Sue Serio or said Facebook at all. <laughs> she downloaded it and then she realized and and then got rid of it. Is she okay if she now that she took it off? Good point. Yeah, once you take it off, you're fine. And the interesting thing is, this is going to drive people to other messaging applications such as WhatsApp app. And oh my goodness, guess who owns that? Facebook, Facebook. just bought them. Exactly. Well, it was like for two billion dollars or it, something ridiculous. It was a little bit more than I have in my pocket. Yeah, it was up there. So, so, so do you think this is going to drive people off of Facebook altogether? It could. I mean, a lot of people are removing it once they're doing it. And at the end of the day, we are the consumers, so we need to vote. If we download and run the app, we're voting for Facebook. If we don't, Facebook is going to have to make changes or they're going to make less money. Yeah, I think a lot of people think this just goes too far. Anthony Mangaluzzo, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Time now.